seconds faster than everybody behind him. This is an absolutely clinic right now for Hayden Deegan. Uh, finally got into the championships today. We got two motos, 11:30 uh, and four something o'clock, and uh, we go clutch up. Hopefully, just steal these wins from the boys. We're so far we won four out of six motos. So if we go six for six, that's gonna be a slight flex. The track should be good. I know he's got some pee wee races before him, so the track should be groomed. But we want it rough. We want it gnarly. That's when he shines. So he's basically got to get second or better to win the championship. But I want to see him go out and obviously win the race. And the next moto is the same thing. He's got to get second, at least second, or better to win. This year, he's done his homework, did his six weeks of training um, for this to come here and make a statement and make it where they, everyone knows he's the kid to beat. So, um, and a lot of good competition. You know, there's Logan Bess on, on the Yamaha has stepped up and give Hayden uh, kept him honest. You know, so that's cool. I like to see that. I like to see him pushed. You know, I like to. I don't like cake walks. Even though, hey, if it's for a championship, we'll take it. But uh, at the end of the day, I like to see him push because this isn't about this step on the ladder. It's about the big step when you race pro. That's that's what the goal is. So this is all just steps on the ladder. Okay, listen here. Cody owes me fifty dollars each title, actually, <laughs> and then he owes me a new pair of shoes. And then if you go win all your motos, Verba shaves the soul patch. Yeah, Verba shaves the soul patch, and <laughs> Dad gives me six hundred bucks if I go six for six. Hundred bucks a moto, so I think that's so good. I said if we won both of this class, I'd give fifty bucks a class. There you go. Hey, look at these. <laughs> You're fine. The, the, the knee hole is okay. A uh, butt hole isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just looking now that inside, before the Ten Commandments, the, the two, like the, the left hander before you get to the Ten Commandments, there was a good inside line going there. The last race, so have a look. So, Do they really need this? Don't get too late. What is it? Stay at gate till like, he tells you. It's for when I take off, because I took off before the guy marked me last time. They're gonna DQ me. Aiden doesn't like to follow the rules sometimes, so we gotta be telling. We literally have to put her in front of his face sometimes. Yeah. Stay away from girls. <laughs> yeah, that's what we should put on there. We should put like blockers on the line. Oh, he goes up. He's looking relaxed though, dude. It's, I'm glad he's not like overthinking everything because it's he's still gonna ride the way he has been. Another day in paradise. At the end of the day, Hayden's got good points going into this one. And he really only needs to finish probably third or better to win. Um, but these are building blocks for the future. And you gotta learn how to get the start, execute under pressure, go out and there's a, like clutch moments you learn as a kid that eventually carry on through the future. You think this is, this is nothing. Like can't wait till he lines up to Supercross the last round and, and it's between him and a couple other guys for the championship and he's got to win the race to win the championship like this is nothing for that you know this is all building up for those moments so I want to see him go out and get the whole shot and freaking stomp everyone that's what he should do that's what his skill level is that's what he trained for we don't train for cruising and getting third to win another plate like we'll come back pro hopefully pro year and look at this and laugh and go dude I can't believe I was so nervous for this I look at I watched the 50 class and laugh because I was the dad spazzing out, running. You were running. You were running. I remember he was everywhere. so mad because he crashed on one like one of the first laps. Yeah, yeah. You have your broom and your I board broke shorts. I the board. <laughs> <laughs> Snapped it. I was so mad. Well, dude, he went one one crash on the start, and I told myself championship rounds, I would never uh, move up the gate again from that day. So yeah. Oh, when I got taken out. Yeah, yeah. I was saying I was so mad I snapped the pit board in the pit thing with the pit when I was on Pee Wee. He was at Pee Wee. Yeah. 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 To win the championship. You have black stuff between your teeth. That's the stuff you gotta yeah. learn now. Yeah. Cavity. Is it? Yeah, you got a cavity. I don't have a cavity in my teeth. I know. <laughs> you 
can't get cavities in veneer fake teeth. You can? <laughs> you can, I don't know. Yeah, Caleb's got one too. <laughs> I don't have fake teeth. <laughs> no, so we were driving, we're backing up, and we just like weren't paying attention to the porta potties behind us. No. I hit the dude's porta potty. No, you were in moved like six inches to put in the eye inside goes, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, All you hear is, hey. All you hear is, whoa. <laughs> say hi. I'm gonna go right here. Number four. Okay. You touch my front tire. What? <laughs> you take. You try to take it myself. No, I won't. I'll let you. Hey. I'll let you lead the first turn, but you gotta promise me you ain't gonna take it out. <laughs> no, I won't take it. I don't know. I've been. I've been told I'm a dirty rider. Dude, you wanted hey, in front of me. I was in the lead, right, and there was six inches of mush. I hit it, washed the front, and flipped me. I was like, I oh, I'm in the air. Where am I? I have it on video. Did you, do you actually? Sick. Tell my GoPro and he filmed it. Yeah. I'm going to have to see that. Oh, it hits the ground like a long dart. Ooh, endo. I'm going to be in the video. I'm so happy. <laughs> if you're on the plane, I might give you an Instagram tag, too. <laughs> <laughs> And we are up and running, and I can see Hayden Diggin and Yannick side by side right now. Hayden on the inside. There's Casey Cochran on the Suzuki as well. All the boys are there. He has those things wired and fired. Good call. Hayden Diggin is extremely quick off the gate. flat for digging everybody else is 204 203 so the math says he is tough to be three four seconds faster than everybody behind him so hayden digging just now coming past us this is an absolutely clinic right now for hayden digging he's got about a 15 and a half second advantage now Digging out front, just cruise control all week long, no doubt about it. And all the while, this guy, he's now he's out making YouTube videos and leading a race. Picked up 1,400 more followers during this race. If I have a shot at winning a KTM 85, if you follow him on YouTube, Digan should have a full video edit done by the time he's into the podium. His producers will be working on that feverishly. Hit the triple and do a trick. The lady. The lady. The lady stands in front of it. He might KO her because she stands in front of it. Our whole shot, man. Yep, thank you. And uh, yeah, whole shot award will hand out uh, as. And a big crowd around this Hayden Deegan podium here. So uh, they got time to celebrate. I believe we have the uh, 50 plus class coming up next. You found some good lines. You got some good lines. All right, come on up. With the gold medal, let's hear it for Hayden Deegan. Take me through that moto, man. We'll pop the champagne in a moment, but tell me about your race. Um, yeah, I got off to like, uh, I was not actually about to start this photo, like, top three, and then I grabbed you outside. I went to first place, and from there, I just, like, uh, went my race and, uh, went as hard as I can, uh, so I can, uh, go get this 66 later. Yeah, you got one to go, right? Yeah, one more, and, uh, I'll just get down this 66. Let's hear it for Hayden Deegan! <laughs> Whoa, hold on, let's get a whole shot of Ward real quick. Get one more hug, there we go. Uh, did he do a good job? Yeah, tell, hey, tell him get out of the stage. Just take for somebody else. What the he's tried it all. One more race and he's got to shave his soul patch. Dude, he Actually? Shave his head, man. So. <laughs> Roger that. I'm gonna get the pro circuit girls after that. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so we got a shirt for Hudson. Every year I grab him a shirt and they print it over here at Defiance. Every year we get one a souvenir and he always wears these shirts the most at home. He likes his name and number on his shirt so 
make sure I do that every year. So I feel bad not bringing them, but I mean, you, know, you just guys see how busy it is to be here. How busy it is to be here and focus on just keeping Hayden focused alone, you know? With Hudson being here and no cell service, he would obviously run away all day and play in the river, play with the other kids. I think by next year, hopefully he's mature enough and hopefully he's able to qualify, really. I mean, I just couldn't imagine, I guess, if Hudson was riding two classes, I mean, we'd be back and forth to the gate so much. So let's go down and check out this medical facility. Florida Lands has always been, you know, this, this grassroots amateur motocross race. And like I said, I raced here as a kid. And I just remember they, they had like a small little, uh, things they've upgraded here, they used to have like a small little medical unit. Now they have this huge uh, hospital here. It's like a four or five bedroom. Like ten bedroom. Uh, ten bedroom hospital. That's a full ER. Let's what we can see see what what it has in it. Uh, how many um, rooms are in here? Uh, we've got about uh, seven beds and an X-ray bed. X-ray bed. Yeah. What would you call this unit? This is a Crad uh, RX medical unit. It's yeah. a mobile hospital, basically. Uh, but yeah. yeah, this is a very downscaled version of what we have. Yeah. We've just got a few beds, and we've got our athletic trainers for that, and then we've got X-ray. Now we can fully deploy a complete three-level triage hospital with a fully working pharmacy, and we have a 10-bed ICU and a three-bed surgical unit on site, and we have that operational on 20 hours. Really? Yeah, dude. Where would where would you go? Where would you use a surgical unit? Uh, what, Burning Man? Burning Man, yeah. It's a unique type of, you know, person that goes to that. Yeah. They definitely stand out, but I could see a lot of injuries at that place. Oh, it's people wild. doing dumb stuff there. We've delivered babies, burns, <laughs> compound fractures. You name it, we've done it out there. Yeah. The riders and the workers are covered by, like, the helicopter, right? They are. Um, the, the coons that are over MX Motorsports, yep. uh, man, they're really good to the riders. What they do is for a week, they buy their air ambulance transport. So a lot of the few times the helicopters came in, it hasn't been for that traumatic of an injury, but it's our best way to get them to definitive care quicker. Because if we just sent you by ground, you might take 30 or 45 minutes to get where you need to be, or we can get you in the helicopter in 15 minutes. It's good to know as a parent that you have something here that's going to move them quick if they were to have a serious injury, like a head injury or something that, Absolutely. you know. And uh, Dr. McGee, he's a great orthopedic surgeon. He minored in neuro, and he's also a rider. So he's the perfect physician for this event. Cool. Awesome, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh. Another yes. <laughs> Get right into the hauler here. <laughs> Alright, so don't forget, as soon as we hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube, we are giving away a 2021 KTM 85. 2021 brand new KTM 85. So, hey, make sure you subscribe. You got to get on there, hit the link, and fill out the entry, and you're good to go. You definitely so. have to subscribe because every time you hit a subscribe, that's a bonus entry.